Now, we look at importance of uh, soil organisms to plants. Now, soil organisms could be plants and soil organisms could be an animal. For example, what we gave initially was that algae, okay, which has characteristics of plants and certain, you know, bacteria that could be photosynthetic bacteria. They look, they behave like plants. Okay, they are part of the soil organism. And in this case, if the soil organism is plant-like, we we'll call it flora. The soil flora. And uh, if the soil organism is uh, animal-like, we we'll call it uh, fauna. We we'll call it fauna. Fauna. So the flora are the plant-like organisms and the fauna are the animal-like uh, organisms. Good. Now let's look at the importance of soil organisms, you know, to plants. One, they burrow into the soil. They burrow into the soil and help in hydration of the soil. Now, burrow means they make holes, they dig holes. E.g., we have uh, insects burrow, rodents who burrow, earthworms who burrow, etc. They borrow, you know, to the soil and help in soil uh, aeration. Secondly, their activities help in breakdown of humus. Their activities help in uh, breakdown of humus in the Soil. Their activities help in breakdown of humus. For example, the particularly the flora, bacteria, at one, all of them, their activities in the soil helps in the, to be able to you know break down humus. Now, three, their feces. Their feces. Their feces add humus to the soil. Their feces add humus to the soil. Now, when they die, die. Decay of their Remains add humus to the soil. So when they die too, they are decaying. Add humus to the soil. So these are, you know, the importance of soil organisms to plants. And uh, finally, the final component that I want to mention now are the mineral salts. So importance of mineral salts. Importance of mineral salts. Importance of mineral salts. Importance of mineral salts to the soil. So let's look at that of mineral salts. Importance of mineral importance of a mineral, you know, substances to the soil, importance of mineral matter to the soil. One, the hair in protein synthesis synthesis in plants enzymes 
hormones, they are all proteins. So this mineral matter helps the plant to synthesize, uh, you know, protein, particularly the nitrogen, e.g. nitrogen helps to synthesize protein. Two, they, they are important for growth and development. They are important for growth and development development of plants they are important for growth and development of plants three they are they help in the formation of chlorophyll they help in the formation of chlorophyll, particularly magnesium, magnesium, iron, magnesium, this amino matter, magnesium, iron, and nitrogen. nitrogen. These ones help in the formation of chlorophyll in plants. Number four, they are also important, they also help in activation of enzymes. They help to activate enzymes. They help you know to activate enzymes in the in the plant for example manganese and calcium performs this function manganese and uh, calcium manganese and calcium help in activation of uh, you know enzymes and finally some minerals helps in you know fruit maturation they bring about they bring about fruit maturation they bring about fruit uh, uh, maturation for example vitamin uh, potassium potassium helps in fruit uh, maturation so these are you know importance of mineral matter to plants so as we have seen in today's class we have seen the importance of various you know various components of the soil to plants before you go let me give you this uh, assignment as you go let's quickly find out for our assignment I'm going to mention three types of rocks. Mention three types of rocks. Come on. And uh, give two examples of uh, each then you submit at at uh, That is Enoch Ido 24 at gmail.com. So, to the next class, uh, where we will have opportunity to meet again, please read, read, and read.